Hi everyone, today welcome to another Minecraft Minecraft tutorial today and did you how to add custom slabs to the game. So, the first thing that you want to do is go over to your blocks package and just click new class. And basically, we're going to be creating three different classes for the blocks. Because we're going to have this like common one, which like both of them extend this. And then, but, because it's like, you got the half ones and the full ones. If you know what I mean, so you got the double ones and the normal ones. So... That's the best I can explain it. And I'm going to call it block copper slab. And then what this does, once it's created, this should extend block slab. Control shift O to import. And you'll see that this is, this is underlined. We want to just make this an abstract class. So that shouldn't bother us that much just leave that for now sort that out in a bit and then we want to make each different half so block half copper slab and this should extend uh, the block copper slab and then uh, that will probably want us just to make a normal method like slow slow like so it will get us to make these methods uh, this is double method. For this one, it's just going to be false. And then we want to create a new one, new class. And it's block double copper slab. And this extends the block copper slab again. And then what we need to do is just imp get the unimplemented methods, like so. And all we need to do is change is double to true because it's the double one okay now on here we actually have to add our constructor and uh, the material is just going to be material dot iron like so and then we're gonna have a variant which is gonna be property bool so it's a private static final property bool and it's called variant so variant and that's equal to property bool dot create and it's variant like so in a constructor we want to just take in the unlocalized name so string unlocalized name and this dot unlocalized set unlocalized name that's it like so and then we just want to also what we're going to do is this dot block state dot get base state dot with property and it's going to be variant and it's going to be false now we want to actually add the uh, actual uh, property I'm going to do this by using the create block state method and that returns a and this returns a new block state and it's this and then it's a i property array so i property delete that array and that's a new one i property array open it up and i'm just going to put variant in there and then in here we need to run the get unlocalized name the one with meta and we're going to just return this dot get unlocalized name just a normal one and then we also need to do get variant and that's just going to be false we also need to get variant property which is just going to be variant Then we need to do get damage dropped or damage dropped, which just 
just should return zero. And I forgot to mention here, we also need to register half as well. So we have to half. Now in here, we don't need these methods anymore. I believe it's just a constructor date once, like so. So don't need these methods, just a constructor, like so. And we do need is double, so this one is true, and this one is false like so and then that should get rid of all those errors now we need to make our item block for this so it's item block copper slab and then this should extend item block control shift o to import this this will get us to make a constructor and what we want to do in the constructor is we need to get the block, we need to get the slab, so that's going to be block half copper slab, half slab, and a block double copper slab, double slab. And we need to put these in the constructor, so that's half slab, and then it's double slab and I forgot to say this is actually item slab sorry control shift O to import that and I reckon we should change this to item actually you can just leave that as the item block that will now work now in this I forgot to add a little bit here and this is to check that if it's not double then it will add to the block state so this dot block state dot get base state dot with property and this is actually half and then that's enum and then this is enum block half dot bottom and then so I did this a bit wrong um you actually want to get the i block state and then that's just going to call it state and that's equal to this dot block state dot get base state and then we could just change all of then we could just copy this change this no I don't know why it did that just control no why why you do this to me just want to paste it here is so state and then here is state and then we want to just do set default state to state like so so I'm just going to just delete this method sorry I forgot that I actually had this all prepared copy and paste these from the description and this should just get the state from meta meta from state and the box state Okay, so now we can actually register our block. So if we go over to init, mod blocks, and then let's just create our block. So public, why have I got caps lock? So I'm public static block, and this is going to be the copper underscore slab underscore half, and public static block copper underscore slab underscore double. Then we just need to initialize these, so copper underscore slab underscore half is equal to a new block half copper slab. And the unlocalized name is going to be copper underscore slab underscore half. Then copper underscore slab underscore double. It's equal to a new block double copper slab. And that's copper underscore slab underscore double. Like so. And then we need to do our other 
game registry so game registry dot register and then it's register block this one here so the block is copper underscore slab half the item class is item block copper slab dot class and then the name is just going to be that unlocalized name that we did earlier so copper underscore slab underscore half and we can just copy and paste this for the double so double and double and then um, to register the render we need to just register render this one so block is copper underscore slab half the meta is zero and the file name is copper underscore slab underscore half and actually we could just do this one and then register render and then just this one and copper underscore slab double and there you go that should actually sort that out now in the description you could download my block states and models and yeah so let's run the game with these block states and models okay so i think that we need to add a final boolean stack Actually, I don't think it needs to be final. So, I fixed it. It now currently breaks with both of them. Uh, I need to set some resistance up for it. But yeah, it works and really simple to fix. All you need to do is in your block copper slab, just on the just add this method. Really, really simple to do. And yet, yeah, it works. So that's how to add a copper slab. Or a custom slab into your game so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe i am out